Shalom. This is Nathaniel from the Holy Camp. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham Rakak Wadash, Double honesty to the apostles, the others of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad in the four winds of the earth, out there in the highways of hedges and pushing truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so this video is concerning you Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and even onto the speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. That look of these other nations, man. All right. Um, this is concerning you. You know, you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite. You're out there proclaiming the words of the Most High. All right. But still in the spirit of being rebellious, you know, uh, coming up with wayward doctrines, you know, and not taking heed to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, which are the leaders of Israel today. Right. You want to hear it or forbear it. All right. Because these men, you, our leader, our leaders, which is uh, starting with the elder apostle Tahar, uh, uh, apostle Gabar, apostle Arimlab, apostle Raka, you know, these men have been faithfully pushing his truth thirty years and plus, you know, and down, okay, and, and, and you know, con, you know, con, consistent man, truly consistent every weekend out there pushing his truth, pushing this word. Day and night, man. Forever in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? You know, you got Israelites out there that want to be on the comment board <clears throat> of what the elder apostle, you know, talking about uh, what he bringing out is is, is, is is boring. You know? Just totally in the, in the, in the um, and, and you know, the scriptures talk about how you're not supposed to rebu uh, rebuke an elder. You know? But yet, Y'all think you know it, you know it better, man. Yet, do you not realize that you're going against the scriptures? Okay, and you're going against the ways of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And if you don't get right and repent from that, you're going to be destroyed, man. And we're going, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, okay, how, how, how you made yourself a target. You, you wanna, you wanna proclaim the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai that, as if you were in the truth, right? But still, in a rebellious spirit, when I go around and say that you're a Hebrew Israelite, okay, not uh, and you know, of course, you know, as as we are, you know, uh, coming back to the ways of our our forefathers, all right, coming back to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, uh, trying to get right, you know, to the best of our abilities, because you know, of course, we are chained by these chains of darkness, all right, we're. <laughs> You know, in these uh, um, in these bodies that you know always want us, always getting us to go off. You know, but the point is, is that you got to realize that and examine yourself first before you want to sit there and talk about, you know, uh, the elder apostles of Great Millstone and even on down, man. Okay, that have been faithfully pushing this truth, man, and warning the flock, feeding the flock. Okay, yet. For the rest of y'all, you know, you, your other camps and stuff like that. And those that are not in the camps, you know, you always got something to say, man. You always got something to say. So, no further ado, I'm going to quit my rant, uh, you know, and get straight into the scriptures. Salakia. What is that? <clears throat> Salakia for that. Right. Salakia. Uh, this is Isaiah 59 and 15, and it reads... Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil make himself a prey. Okay, and you know you out there, you you proclaim that you're a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. Yet you're talking about unity. You're talking about building a a, a, um, a community. All right, and when clearly it's not in the time. Okay, we're clearly not in these times. All right, right now we're in some very evil times. Okay, and to build on another man's foundation, the scriptures tell you not to do that. This is this is their kingdom. Why are you trying to establish something in another man's kingdom with the heavenly Father has set up? This this society, everything is wicked as hell. But you them same niggas back in Egypt complaining, murmuring against the Most High, you know, talking about it was better for you to be in Egypt than to starve to death. You know, same niggas, man. All right. 
So the fact that you even call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, you made yourself a prey. Yet you want to still continue and prolong the, this 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 uh, wicked kingdom with your bullshit, your your debate and all this other shit, instead of worrying about being in the spirit of prophecy, man, which the Lord told us to be in. Okay, the Lord pretty much want us to be in the spirit of prophecy because that's the times that we're in. Prophecy, things that are to come. And one of those things is the kingdom of Yasharala, okay? The kingdom of Israel, which is about to be established upon this earth very soon, right? Because the, the economy, everything that you see going on right now is crumbling before your eyes. But yeah, you're talking about building a, a fucking community, man. Not realizing you made yourself a prey, right? You want to call yourself Hebrew Israelites, but what about the people in, in Israel, you know? They call themselves that. They call themselves. <laughs> I'm not going to say that word because I don't want to get my fucking shit flagged. Goddamn devils. Which, you know, those people in Israel, these Amalekites, okay? You know, you 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 are pre pretty much made a target to them. You made yourself a target. And these, these people are utterly violent, man. You know, since these people came into rulership, it's been nothing but war and death. So what makes you think that you're going to be living peacefully, claiming that you are the real people of Israel, okay? What does that make you? It makes you a prey, man. But you want to build a community, right? And the Lord Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment, right? Because if you ain't got the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, or understanding of these scriptures, you don't have judgment, man. And the thing is, you might have some... But are you well? Uh, are you grown in this truth to understand, to be able to discern good and evil? You know. And you know the thing is, I've been what six years now in this truth, and I'm still a baby in this truth. Understand that. The other apostles of Great Millstone are, are men in this truth. Okay, are men. It's lucky I got somebody here. I'm gonna pause it. Come on, we're back. All right, so pretty much, you know, <clears throat> what was I? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue. So this is, um, let me see. Trying to figure out where I'm at because these damn demons, fucking goddamn junkies and shit. Uh, let's see. Let me see where is that. Yeah, the spirit of prophecy, man. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. Now John the Revelator, you know, we got him pretty much was worshiping the angel, which is one of our brethren, man. He said not to do it. As it says, And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, you see. So we're in the spirit of, of, of prophesying, man. Okay? We should not be in the spirit of building up in an, on another man's foundation. Building up in a, on, a, on a foundation of wickedness, man. Okay? That's not something we ought to do. Okay? Because this is what it says in Matthews. Matthews uh, chapter 16. Now I'm going to start verse 2. This is Matthew chapter 16 verse 2. And he answered unto them. When it is evening, you say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in, and in the morning, it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites! You can discern the, the face of the sky, but, but can you not discern the signs of the times? You know? And that's a problem with our people, man. Okay? You're able to be able, you know, because now you got the news uh, forecaster, you know, that pretty much he forecasts the weather and telling us what, if it's going to rain or not and how cold it's going to be or hot. Okay? But before then, you know, we were able to do that. 
you know, even till today, you know, you see the skies, you know, and you can tell, oh, you know, rain could come or, you know, a storm or whatever. That's that's the same thing what's going on. You know, the society is crumbling. Look at what's going on concerning the, the, the um, so-called pestilence. Right. When you know, everybody having to wear masks and all these other things, you know, the economy going bad, you know, food shortages, you know. You're not able to discern that we're in evil times right now, you know, and a lot of y'all are just fucking hypocrites, man, and full of shit, man. You need to shut the hell up and humble yourself. The scriptures say, uh, be uh, 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 slow to speak and quick to hear, man. But yet, you know, y'all got itching ears, man, straight up itching ears. And, you know, you, you, a lot of y'all that be talking to stuff like that, you ain't got no works out there, man. You know, pull up on your page. Your page is empty, but you got something to say. You know, y'all you have to shut the hell up. Okay, and take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 33, and it reads, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. So, you know, you hypocrites, you know, you're not able to discern the things that are going on. Why? Because you don't have no vision, man. The scriptures say that, you know, a man without vision, uh, um, let me see if I can find it. It was in Proverbs. I'm not trying to make this video too long. Um, it was a Proverbs 23 and 18. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see, no vision. Yeah, there we go. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. You see? And, and y'all ain't got no vision, man. Y'all, you know, as the Lord said, y'all seeking for a sign, man. But you ain't going to get one, man. You see, until you humble yourself and take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, repent, man. Repent, man. Okay, the people perish. This is Matthew's, uh, going back to Matthew's 22 and 33, and it reads, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. So all these evils that are going on upon this earth, you see going uh, in the news and things like that, just understand that one day it's going to be at your door. It's going to be at your door, man. You know, and, and you, you know, you, you call yourself being in the truth, not realizing you made yourself a prey. Okay, you know, the Lord hates a proud look, man. He hates a proud, man. And and being uh, proud is uh, going before the destruction, man. You know, these are these are these are these are simple scriptures for you to get understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay. For you to humble yourself, man. For you to humble yourself and to learn and to take heed and to abide. To listen. To hearken. Okay? Instead of always open your big mouth, man. Okay? Because the scriptures say every idle word shall be held accountable in the day of, judge in the day of judgment, man. Okay? And we're telling you these things because... You making yourself a prey, not realizing that, hey, man, soon, let me grab that first. This is very, no, 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 let me get, let me get that one first. First Peter chapter five, verse eight, and it reads, be sober, be vigil vigilant, and being sober is sticking to the things that you learned from the elder apostles of Great Millstone, man. Okay. If you're speaking according to the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you better continue to stick with, uh, hold fast to what you learn, okay? And be sober because all these other philosophies out here, these wayward doctrines, got our people drunk, man. Got our people drunk, okay? And for those that are out there, <laughs> drunk as hell, you better sober up quick. You better sober up quick, man. Because it says right here, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, 
seeking whom he may devour. Okay? And that's about to happen here soon because, you know, the, the Lord right now is holding them back. But wait until these devils come down, man. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, uh, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, and woe meaning destruction. For the devil has come down unto you. And that devil is not talking about a guy in a, in a red suit. It's talking about these uh, elites, man. You know, your average Joe Edomite walking down the street, he don't, he don't know what the hell's going on. He's a two-time loser. He's paying taxes in his own kingdom. You know? He don't know what the hell's going on. It's talking about these elites, man. They're going to come down, right? As it says, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And soon, he's about to come down. And if you ain't getting right, okay, you ain't getting right to the best of your ability, okay, and taking heed and repenting, all right? You are not going to have the hedge of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. You're going to leave yourself out to be a prey, okay? Because in times that we are to come, okay, we're not going to be able to deliver ourselves uh, based upon our own strength and training, whatever that you got planned in your, in your bugged out mind, Okay? It's going to be concerning Yahweh Bashim al Shai that, you know, we be delivered. Not of our own strength. Okay? Because, hey man, the way things are going is going bad quickly. Okay? Soon, you know, because right now they're building up, they've already been building up a case, but soon, all right, they're going to deem us as terrorists. Okay? They're already trying to do that right now. Okay? They're already doing that right now. And this is pretty much a warning uh, to, to uh, Israel, man. Okay? They get right, man. Because you're out there proclaiming it, that you got the truth or whatnot. Okay? You're not taking heed to the other apostles of Great Millstone and want to continue being rebellious and stuff like that. You out there left as a prey, man. Okay? You, you are out there as a prey. All right? Uh, let's see. I'm going to grab one more scripture and I'm finished. Because I got to get got to get to work. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 37. And it reads, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are, are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son. For two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. Which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Okay? So, when these things occur, okay... Like a woman when she's giving birth, you know, great pains can pass. We're in, we're in, we're in the, we're in the beginning of sorrows, you know, and to be in the spirit of prophecy, you got to understand that all these things must come to pass in order for the end to come. But we're in the beginning of of uh, of of great mourning and and, and uh, pain, okay? Because uh, in order to make it into the kingdom, you got to understand that. Uh, Acts 14 and 22 through much trials and tribulations so you enter into the, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem El Shai okay so we have to go through a lot of uh, death and destruction okay alright and that's why we want to you know have the hedge of Yahweh Bashem El Shai that he hide us in the time of his wrath okay because there is going a great judgment upon his earth okay and nobody is, is, is um, nobody is exempt Except for the, the, you know, the 144, right? That's why you got to be fearful. Because we don't know. You know, as, as myself, I, I hope that I'm of that number. Because I, I want to be delivered. I want to be saved, man. And that's why you got to understand. You got to humble yourself, man. For real. Because this is very serious. Okay? So, these plagues are not going to go back. Just like when a woman, she's given birth. You're not going to push that child back up in her womb. 
It's not possible. It's the same thing with these prophecies, man. That's why you ought to be in the spirit of prophecy, man. And if, yeah, of course, it's a repetitive thing, but you got to understand, as, as so many lies being pushed in this truth, this truth also needs to be pushed as so. Over and over, over and over, so it's automatic. You know it by heart. That's why we are doing this, okay? It might seem boring to you, but just understand, hey, it's for a good cause, all right? O my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and then those evils be evil as pilgrims upon the earth. Because this devil, when he come down having a great wrath, you know, we're going to have to, you know, flee. All right? We're going to have to flee. All right? From your comfortable homes, your warm bed. All right? Right? Now, this is the point. For you Israelites that want to be out there being rebellious and talking about building a community or whatnot. Now listen to this. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth, as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profit by it. And he that uh, buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. Okay, so that community that you're talking about, okay, in these times, which is coming up very shortly, okay, you're not going to be able to prosper at whatever thing that you are doing. It doesn't matter if you're building or whatnot, man. Right? He that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers, and therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. Okay? And that's what you all are doing, man. You're all laboring in vain. You know, you're laboring in the flesh. You're not laboring in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, which you ought to be doing, man. Especially in these times, man. All right? So this is a warning out to you Hebrew Israelites out there, you know, proclaiming to be in this truth, yet still in the spirit of rebellion. Okay, just understand the Most High is about to come and judge the world. Okay, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the blonde city of apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things, and peace and salutations to the elect that scatter abroad in the four winds. Shalom.